Hi, it's English Galaxy, and we continue, I would say, this amazing playlist for intermediate students. You can watch all the playlist, so you know that all the links are in the descriptions below. Okay, let's continue, really, and let's study more difficult tenses. What English tenses do you know? Or, you know, I can ask it another way. What English tenses have you already studied? What English tenses? What English tenses have you already have you already studied? Can you write about it in the comments? What English tenses have you already studied? All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I think it will be okay next time. Yeah, you know, it happens. But it's okay, I think that I just need to do more exercises, yeah, to type better. And I think that you understand, and once again, thanks for your understanding, really. But anyway, uh, we have this question, so what English tenses have you already studied? Can you write about it in the comments, and I think it's very interesting for all of us. So, I suppose that uh, the first tense is present simple, yes, it's for things which uh, happen in general, usually, sometimes, often, yeah. So, when we talk about the past, we mostly use past simple. If you want uh, to say something in the future, yeah, you used, I mean, in most cases, future simple. Future simple. Okay, it's okay. And uh, I'm also sure that most elementary students know not only present simple, but also present continuous. Present continuous. Really, what's the difference between present simple and present continuous? So, if it's now, I mean, if uh, one thing is happening now, you should use present continuous. For example, we are learning English now, or we are watching this video now. Okay, so, these tenses are quite simple, and uh, I think that you don't have any questions connected with these tenses. Oh, but really, I can't understand why am I speaking English right now. Yeah, it's also present, uh, present continuous, but uh, actually, um, in the question form, okay? Why am I speaking English right now? You know that uh, we started this playlist and everything was, you know, some kind of uh, mix. So, Russian English, Russian English, and now you can hear it's only English. Okay, it was a test. So, if you like this idea, I mean that we can type something and speak both, uh, speak, you know, not both languages, but uh, just English. So, just let me know and we'll do it or, you know, we can continue in this playlist or we can create one more playlist. But I like this idea and I wouldn't like to stop. Okay, so, uh, present continuous, you see. Okay, let's talk about past continuous. Let's talk about past continuous, okay? Let's talk about past continuous. Let's talk about this tense. And uh, as you know, that uh, usually we usually give 30 examples connected uh, with this or that unit or lesson. Okay, past continuous. So the first example. Okay, so let's speak Russian a bit. I think that you don't mind. Okay, thanks. Так, продолжаем. Past continuous. Нет примера. Когда она пришла? When she came. When she came, я, я, соответственно, готовил. I was cooking. То есть, видите, на самом деле, вот past continuous управляется а, как раз вот в такой основной связке, как видите, одно действие короткое. Past simple. When she came, и она готовила длительное. When she came, I was cooking. When she came, I was cooking. Там, например, когда я вернулся домой, или когда я вернулся, when I came home, можно начать, when I came home, там он играл в компьютерные игры, he was, he was playing, he was playing computer games, when I came home, he was playing computer games, okay, when I came home, he was playing computer games, okay, next, so, free, когда я увидел его, when I saw him, when I saw him, Он разговаривал по телефону. He was talking. He was talking on the phone. When I saw him, he was talking on the phone. Или, например, когда я увидел ее, when I see her, when I see her, когда я увидел ее, она разговаривала с ним. She was talking. She was talking to him. 
which are not just a short video and long when I, she was talking to him. And let me give you one more example. Okay, so okay, uh, when, for example, when the phone rang, it's like how when the phone rang, when the phone rang, when the phone rang, when the phone rang, rang, when the phone rang, when the phone rang, when the phone I was I was, when I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower. В принципе, все понятно. Вот основное значение. И, как правило, разговорная речь как раз мы это используем. И также есть у нас какое-то есть указание именно времени. Например, What were you doing? Что ты делал вчера? В 7 часов вечера. What were you doing? What were you doing? At seven o'clock. What were you doing at seven o'clock? What were you doing at seven o'clock yesterday? Что ты делал вчера в семь часов вечера? What were you doing at seven o'clock yesterday? То есть не просто yesterday, а именно вчера. Там уточняйте время. Вот именно в таком контексте мы также часто используем past continuous. So what were you doing at seven o'clock yesterday? И можно сказать, например, I was. Я, соответственно, я готовился к экзамену. I was preparing. I was preparing for my exam. Или просто к моему экзамену, или очень сложному экзамену, или for my exam, или просто к экзамену for the exam. I was preparing uh, for the exam. Там вчера, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday at um, там, at four o'clock in the afternoon. В таком контексте также мы uh, с вами именно употребляем данное время in the afternoon. At four o'clock in the afternoon, okay? И uh, также, so you can make up your own examples, I think it's okay. И uh, также есть такие временные указатели, например, как uh, целый день. Например, я читал, не знаю, там, книгу uh, целый день. Uh, okay, I was reading. I was reading a book. I was reading a book. I was reading a book. Okay. I was reading a book all day. I was reading a book all day. То есть я читал, видите, именно книжку целый день. I was reading a book all day. Там, я работал целый день. How will you say it? I was working all day. Ну, понимаете, это просто мы используем, чтобы подчеркнуть именно длительность действия. I was working all day. So it was, uh, yeah, it was so long. Это было так долго. It was so long, okay? Давайте с вами повторим и пойдем дальше. So what English tenses have you already started? So I suppose you know present simple. Past simple, future simple, and present continuous. Yeah, it's okay. Let's uh, talk a bit about past continuous. Yeah. So, when she came, I was cooking. When I came home, he was playing computer games. So, you know how we form this tense. You know how we form this tense. So, was verb plus verb plus glagol plus verb plus ing. Plus ing. Was verb plus verb plus ing. So, you see. Okay, so when I came home, he was playing computer games. Next, when I saw him, he was talking on the phone. When I see, oh, sorry, yeah, when I saw, yeah, obviously, obviously, it means очевидно, obviously, oh, it's obvious, when I saw her, she was talking to him. Okay, so next, when the phone rang, I was taking a shower. What were you doing at 7 o'clock yesterday? I was preparing for the exam yesterday at four o'clock in the afternoon. Or I was reading a book all day. I was working all day. And uh, if you ask about my day yesterday, you know, uh, maybe it can sound strange or maybe it won't sound strange for you, you know. But I was teaching English all day yesterday. I was teaching... I was teaching English. I was teaching English all day yesterday. English all day yesterday to make my students happy. Okay, I was teaching English all day yesterday. Okay, let's go on. Okay, и конечно мы используем также, когда описываем какую-то ситуацию. Например, описательная ситуация. Там я лежал на пляже. I was lying. I was lying on the beach. I was lying on the beach. Там, соответственно, я раз... мы разговаривали, we were talking, we were talking, там, мы, соответственно, хорошо проводили время. We were having, we were having a great time together. We were having, we were having a great time, we were having a great time together. Together, 
It was something unforgettable. Это было что-то незабываемое. It was something. It was uh, something unforgettable. So it was something unforgettable. It was something unforgettable. Yeah. It was something unforgettable. Okay. So you know it was past continuous. So I think it's easy. So I think that past continuous it's easy. And let's talk a bit about future continuous. Future continuous. Значит, будущее, продолженное время. So, I think that you remember how we form these tense will be uh, plus verb plus ing. Actually, so if we look at different continuous tenses, I mean present continuous, future continuous, and past continuous, we always have ing, ing, so future continuous. И это подчеркивает как раз длительность. А длительность именно в будущем времени. Но мы же с вами говорили, что очень часто используется именно в таком контексте. Там я буду ждать тебя. Там не просто я подожду тебя. Если вы скажете подожду тебя, вы скажете I will wait for you. Or you know, uh, like many native speakers, you can use short forms. Short forms, короткие формы, or contractions, contractions, сокращения. So I'll wait for you. Я подожду тебя. But if you want, you know. Uh, to put an emphasis, то есть сделать акцент на on the duration, on the duration, на длительности, on the duration, uh, you can say I'll be waiting for you, I'll be waiting for you, я буду ждать тебя, I'll be waiting for you, я буду ждать тебя, I'll be waiting for you, I'll be waiting for you, я буду ждать твоего ответа, I'll be waiting for your, вот как вы скажете, я буду ждать твоего ответа, I'll be waiting for your, что, for your, I'll be waiting for your, Reply. I'll be waiting for your reply or I'll be waiting for your answer. Okay? So these words, as you know, have a similar meaning. Reply or answer. I'll be waiting for your answer. Okay, so we have I was working all day. Yeah, you see. Next. I was teaching English all day yesterday. I was lying on the beach. We were talking. We were having a great time together. It was something unforgettable. And future continuous, you see, will be plus verb plus ing. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for your reply. I'll be waiting for your answer. Okay? And uh, 16. So, okay. Uh, yeah. But actually, you know that we mostly use... Uh, uh, past continuous, I think that we use it more often than future continuous, but uh, this tense uh, can sometimes take place too. This tense can sometimes uh, take uh, place too. Okay, so next. Yeah, so present perfect. Present perfect. So I think that uh, this uh, tense is very easy for you. So present perfect. У нас также с вами была идея записать отличие всех времен в одном видео. Если хотите, мы напишите, мы с вами можем такое время сделать. Но здесь на самом деле, so let's translate some sentences, okay? Значит, я был там много раз. I, значит, how do we form this tense? So I think that you also remember because it isn't so uh, difficult, you know, it, you just need to choose have, has been, uh, plus, um, you yeah, past participle, past past participle, past participle, третья форма глагола. So we use a uh, past participles, a uh, past participle with all perfect tenses. So no matter what it is, I mean present perfect, past perfect, or future perfect, past participle. Just keep this uh, idea in your mind, okay? So present perfect have has been plus past participle, and you want to say я был там много раз. So I have третья форма от be это Oh, no, sorry. Have has a plus past participle because, you know, I'm talking about one thing and I'm thinking about another thing or maybe other things. Okay, and sometimes it's a bit complicated, but I prefer, you know, this kind of lessons, this uh, format. Okay, okay, so I have, я был там, I have been, yeah, because I was thinking actually about this example while I was um, writing yeah, about this example. Yeah, and so, you know, uh, it's a good example too, because, uh, you know, we sometimes, uh, yeah, let's get back to uh, past continuous, that sometimes uh, we can use uh, past continuous in uh, both parts or in both clauses, yes? Uh, what, you know, 
uh, have I uh, just said? So when I was um, when I was когда я писал то предложение when I was writing when I was writing that sentence when I was writing that sentence я думал I was thinking when I was writing that sentence I was thinking я думал о об этом примере о том примере I was thinking uh, about uh, this example я думал об этом примере. Действительно, то есть две части, может быть, такую длительную на самом деле, да? When I was writing that sentence, I was thinking about uh, this example. So it's uh, 16, okay, it's 16. Или, например, uh, в то время, как uh, я работал очень усердно, то есть в то время это может быть uh, такое слово замечательное, как while, while I was working very hard, uh, в то время, как я работал очень усердно, он ничего не делал. He was doing nothing. He was doing nothing. Или, например, в то время, как мы uh, готовились к экзамену, while, видите, это еще одно действительно важнейшее, важнейшее случай употребления past continuous. While uh, we work, в то время, как мы с вами готовились к экзамену, while we were uh, preparing, while we were preparing for the exam, uh, for the exam, they... Они uh, смеялись над нами. They were laughing at us. They were laughing at us. То есть, видите, это действительно, то есть, uh, длительное время, то есть, действительно, это может какой-то период времени. While we were preparing for the exam, uh, they were laughing at us. However, тем не менее, давайте, let's continue this story. However, however, uh, they failed it. They failed it. They failed it. Тем не менее, они его завалили. And... Uh, You know, it wasn't surprising for all of us. Это не было удивительно для всех нас. It wasn't surprising. You know, surprised, you can say, I'm surprised, you're doing, oh, I'm shocked. It wasn't surprising. It wasn't surprising. It wasn't surprising for all of us. Это не было удивительно uh, для всех нас. Okay, yeah, it wasn't surprising for all of us. So, what do we have? So, when I was writing that sentence, I was thinking about this example. While I was working very hard, he was doing nothing. Yeah, terrible. While we were preparing for the exam, they were laughing at us. However, uh, they failed it. It wasn't surprising for all of us. Yeah, and one more tense. Uh, you see present perfect and you know that we form it this way. Have, has. Yeah, we just need um, uh, to make it uh, more clear. Okay, so have has plus past participle. I have been there. Я был там много раз, many times. So, but I suppose that you have the following questions. Why should we use present perfect in this case? In this case, в этом случае, or in this situation, в этой ситуации, uh, because there are some time expressions, uh, time expressions, есть некоторые временные указатели, Time expressions, or we often uh, call them time markers, uh, time markers, and many times, many times is one of these time markers. So if you, you know, if you have to talk about the past and use many times, so you should, you know, that you should use present perfect. And I think it's not surprising. It's not surprising. I've been there many times. Yeah, uh, let's talk about some other time expressions or time markers. Yeah, but just maybe a short break and then we'll go on. Okay, but you know, I noticed one thing that's actually, it's example 19. I have been there many times, or you know, I want to say, я был в Америке дважды. Я был в Америке два раза, три раза, это все uh, time markers of present perfect. Я был в Америке дважды. И многие говорят следующим образом, but please, never say it this way. Никогда не говорите данным способом. То есть мы говорим, I was there, so it's a very common mistake. Это очень часто ошибка of many students. I was there там twice. Я был там два раза. I was there uh, twice. Я был там дважды. Или там я был... Опять же, I was there uh, three times, three раз. I was there three times, okay? Or, you know, I was there three times. I was there three times or I was in America. I was in America three times. I was in America three times. So, a very common mistakes, you know, which we often meet are the following. I have been, I have been, I have been in America 
three times and I was in America three times. But these sentences don't sound correct. So really, what's wrong? What's wrong? Что не так? What's wrong with these sentences? I was in America three times and I have been in America three times. So it's easy to guess it. Легко догадаться. So you know that if you have three times, many times, four times, uh, five times, you use present perfect. So you have to use present perfect, not past simple. Yes, it's incorrect. Okay? Okay, so we have past simple, but there is a rule that if you have uh, I have been, that you have to use to, not in. I have been to America three times. I have been to America three times. Okay, and uh, I want to tell you one thing that uh, actually uh, by accident I came across um, one interesting video. Случайно я наткнулся на одно интересное видео on uh, one English uh, channel, quite popular. And just I decided to open it, actually его открыть, uh, just, you know, out of curiosity, just из любопытства. And soon I made, uh, okay, no, 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 I met this mistake, uh, met this mistake, да, я хотел это ошибка, real, really, in a presentation of an English teacher, I actually met this mistake. It was something like that. I have been in America, uh, it was uh, about, you know, it was about present perfect, the presentation was about present perfect, and um, actually uh, there was an example like this one, you know, I have been in England, or I have been you know, in another country, I don't actually remember it, but three times, uh, two times, okay, oh, have you, okay, but, you know, it was absolutely, you know, uh, not wonderful, it's quite the opposite, so, you see, it's really, uh, I was shocked, really, I was shocked, I have been to America three times, so, you know, um, I've been to England many times, yeah, we often use uh, short forms. I've been to England. I've been to England many times. I've been to England many times. I've been to England many times. So, have been to. I've been to England many times. И также, на что мы поговорили про вот это many times ever. Ты когда-либо был? Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Ты когда-либо был в Китае? Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to China? Really, have you ever been to China? Um, have you ever been? Ты когда-либо был? Have you ever been? Have you ever been to Latin America? Or do you want to visit it? Have you ever been to Latin America? Вы когда-либо были в Латинской Америке? Have you ever been to Latin America? То есть, видите, ever, many times. Okay. И то же самое never, что вы никогда не делали. I have never. Я никогда. I have never been. Я никогда не был. I have never been to Canada. I have never been to Canada. Ну, никто еще не приглашал в Канаду, да? I have never been. I have never been to Kazakhstan. Я никогда не был в Казахстане, там, примерно. Я еще никто еще не приглашал там. I have never been to Latvia, yeah, for example. I have never. I have never been. I have never been to Latvia. Ну, никогда еще не было. I've never been to Latvia, okay? So, uh, you see. И также just, uh, только что, значит, мы только что изучили очень полезную информацию. We have just, we have just, опять же, мы указали, что present perfect, we just studied, very useful. И можно сказать, что very, 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 не говорить все время, all the time, we can use another word, which I would say, um, you know, sounds a bit stronger, extremely. And we have just uh, studied extremely useful information. We have just studied extremely, or oh, we have just studied extremely useful information. Information uh, just. Okay? Uh, you know, мы еще не закончили этот урок. То же самое, yet, еще нет временного указателя. Ставим, we put it in, in the end. So we haven't uh, finished, we haven't finished this lesson, we haven't finished this lesson yet. Мы еще не закончили данный урок. We haven't finished this lesson yet. Okay, so we have different time expressions, time markers, yes, uh, three times, uh, many times, and for example, you can see, I have been to America three times, I've been to England many times, yeah, and we also, you know, use um, ever with present perfect. Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to Latin America? I have never been to Canada. I have never been to Latvia. 
we have just studied extremely useful information yeah just and uh, you know if just say it's really useful information and also yet we haven't finished this lesson yet we haven't finished this lesson yet мы еще не закончили этот урок может я еще не достиг там самого высшего уровня в английском языке ну, ну прям скажем i haven't reached i haven't reached i haven't reached the highest level the highest самый высокий уровень the highest level in english yet но все еще впереди Думаю, что это может. Haven't reached the highest level in English yet, да? То есть, какие мы с вами перечислили? So, you know, just, там, already, just только что, already, уже, далее, yet, еще нет, ever, never, ever, never. На самом деле, вот uh, такие основные uh, указатели. Ever, never. Окей? Okay. Ну, на самом деле, что касается never, здесь есть э, такой момент очень важный. То есть never это не всегда именно вот э, указывает то, что именно present perfect. Смотрите, compare these, te, uh, you know, compare these sentences. Сравните эти два предложения. Compare these sentences. Compare these sentences. When I was young, когда я был молодым, when I was young, я никогда туда не ходил, I never. I never went there. Я никогда туда не ходил. То есть это в прошедшее время. A distant, it's a distant past. It's a distant past. Это отдал... ну, отдаленное прошедшее время. It's a distant past, you see. So when I was young, I never went there. То есть it isn't connected with the present. Это не связано с настоящим. It isn't connected. It isn't connected with the present. Это не связано с настоящим временем. Но то, что present perfect, это it is connected with the present. А настоящее совершенно, it is connected with the present. Есть связь с настоящим. We see the connection. Мы видим связь. We see the connection with the present. То есть я никогда, I have never, я никогда не хотел это. I have never wanted it. I have never wanted it. Я никогда не хотел это. So I didn't want it in the past and I don't want it now. So it's still true. Это все еще uh, верно. It's still true. It's still true. Yeah, and we see. We see the connection. It is, yeah, it is still true. Okay, so it's still true. We see the connection with the present. We see the connection. We see the connection with the present. Мы видим связь с настоящим. We see the connection with the present. We see with the connection with the, the present. Мы видим с вами там связь с вами именно с настоящим. We see the connection with uh, the present, yeah? And, you know, let's revise it and I'll give you one more example. So we haven't finished this lesson yet. I haven't reached the highest level in English yet. Okay? Okay, so compare these sentences. When I was young, I never went there. So it's about a distant past, so it is connected with the present. Sorry, what? When I was young, I never went there. A distant past, it isn't connected. Yes, it isn't, sorry. It isn't connected with the present. Yes, but the second sentence is, is connected with the present. I have never wanted it. It's still true. We see the connection with the present. Just already, yet, ever, never. Okay, and uh, tell me something. Скажите мне что-то. Tell me something, okay? Tell me something. Скажите мне что-то. Interesting. Tell me something interesting. What you have never done in your life. Tell me something interesting. Скажите мне что-нибудь интересное. Tell me something interesting. Please, скажите, tell me something Interesting. What you have never, что никогда не делали своей жизни. What you have never, what you have never uh, done in your life. What you have never done in your life, but maybe, but maybe you want uh, to try it. Ну, возможно, вы хотите попробовать, but maybe you want to try it. Видите, то есть не делали до сих пор. What you have never done in your life. Tell me something interesting. What you have never done in your life, but maybe you want to try it. Okay? Let's see, все повторим. 
So what English tenses have you already studied? So I suppose it's present simple, past simple, future simple, present continuous. Past continuous was verb plus verb plus ing. When she came, I was cooking. When I came home, he was playing computer games. Okay? When I saw him, he was talking on the phone. When I saw her, she was talking to him. When the phone rang, I was taking a shower. What were you doing at 7 o'clock yesterday? I was preparing for the exam yesterday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was reading a book all day. I was working all day. I was teaching English all day yesterday. Okay, I was lying on the beach, we were talking, we were having a great time together, it was something unforgettable. Future continuous will be plus verb plus ing. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for your reply. I'll be waiting for your answer. When I was writing that sentence, I was thinking about this example. While I was working very hard, he was doing nothing. While we were preparing for the exam, they were laughing at us. However, they failed it. It wasn't surprising for all of us. Present perfect, have has, plus past participle, I have been there many times. Time expressions or time markers. I have been to America three times. I've been to England many times. Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to Latin America? I have never been to Canada. I have never been to Latvia. We have just studied extremely useful information. We haven't finished this lesson yet. I haven't reached the highest level in English yet. Compare these sentences. When I was young, I never went there. A distant past. It isn't connected with the present. I have never wanted it. It's still true. We see the connection with the present. Just already, yet, ever, never. Yeah, and the last one. Tell me something interesting. What you've never done in your life, but maybe you want to try it. Okay? Thanks a lot. See you. Bye.